Hi everyone and welcome to White Sky's Wisdom. This is a general energies reading for the star sign of Pisces for June 2019 and welcome back everybody. Okay Pisces, when I did your yearly reading, your card for this month was the Ten of Pentacles. Congratulations, that's all I can say. So yes, uh, your uh, if you haven't got this situation yet, but you're, a you're aiming towards having financial stability of all forms, having enough money to be able to look after everybody in your family, great house, wonderful clothing, good food on the table. Uh, and if you've actually reached this by this stage, I congratulations, well done, Ten of Pentacles, great card. Okay, so we're going to have a look at your abundance because Ten of Pentacles... Let's see. So, whoops. Let's see what we've got for Pisces, please. Ten of Pentacles, great card. Thank you. You've got two. Focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. And block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power and, res and responsibility to block them out. So it looks like you guys, priorities, blocking out distractions, you guys are going for the money at the moment. It's all about the money. Yes, all right, health. Let's have a look at your health. All right, Pisces, June 2019, please. Let's see how their health's going. How's Pisces' health going? Health concerns, any issues that Pisces needs to, to know. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Dear Higher Self, thank you for speaking loudly and clearly in peaceful ways that I easily understand. Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to listen to my inner wisdom. Yes, well that's the part about blocking out distractions. It's really important to check in with yourself now. I think you guys know what you want. You've got your eye on the prize. You're going for the big money. Okay, block out those distractions, focus on your priorities and listen to your intuitive feelings. You'll know what's the right way to go. If you've got a lot of things on the burner, just, just start off and see where they lead you. All right, we'll get straight into the tarot, I think. I'm interested. Let's see what's going on here, Pisces. All right, guidance, please, for the star sign of Pisces. Pisces, June 2019, please. Thank you. Eight of Swords, any more advice, please? Any more advice, please? All right, we'll just go with that first card. Eight of Swords. So you're all up in your head. Okay, so Swords. Swords of Thoughts. Um, if you have a look at the lady in this card, those bindings around her are really loose. Uh, it's also uh, blinding her as well. It's like a blindfold uh, holding her arms behind her. She's also got one foot on the land and one foot in the water. Okay, so she's sort of a bit, little bit grounded, tiny bit. She's up on her tiptoes though. Uh, she's in, in the world of emotion. There's quite, a, you know, there's water all around. But yeah, if she were to just loosely move, those um, binds would come off, and she'd be able to see that she'd be able to walk forward. Now, basically, that means that 
all these thoughts, these eight different ideas, or these eight different situations, eight, these are yeah, definitely all thoughts, uh, they're swimming around in your head and confusing you. You're not knowing which way to go. Uh, you're feeling a little bit bound and trapped at the moment. So yes, hook in with your intuitive feelings and block out those distractions. It's time to really get those swords in order, okay? You've got the big pentacles to go for here, okay? And you're going to achieve it, all right? So you just need to focus on each individual, see with focus on your priorities. You could have eight tasks ahead of you that seem insurmountable. Focus on this each individual one at a time if you can. Now also try and chip off the smaller ones if you can. Uh, because that'll give you a sense of achievement and then you'll end up moving forward and you'll get this momentum, okay? All right, so what other guidance do we have? King of Cups, well, this could be you. You could also be dealing with another water sign, a Cancer or a Scorpio. Uh, this could be you standing in your male energy, whether you're a male or a female. Uh, if this is you, you are very strong. You have got your emotions in check. Uh, you are the king on your throne. Um, you are in control of this situation, okay? So even though you might feel a little bit confused at the moment, you are in control of this situation, okay? You have the ability to, to, to get on top of this. All right, yeah, six of swords. Lots of swords here, lots of thoughts with you guys at the moment. So you want to move out of trouble. You want to move away from trouble. You want to move into calmer waters. Uh, you're going backwards. You're going from the eight to the six. So maybe you're checking back and trying to see... You might be a bit confused where you are now. You might have to check back a couple of steps and see if there was something that went wrong in the past that you can now move forward with. But it looks like you are moving forward. Um, now, this could be seen as someone coming to your rescue and helping you here. Um, it could also be, if you see this as yourself, this could be the male side of yourself, this side here, which is leading your female and child self out of any troubles here. Okay, leading you out of this confusion and into calmer waters. You could also have a wonderful um, water sign around you that's helping you to get through this. But it, I think it's pretty much, it sounds like it's an individual thing because, you know, you've got to be by yourself, focus on your priorities and block out distractions. All right, the Empress. Yes, we, you could be dealing with a uh, Empress type of character. Uh, this is the divine feminine here. Um, bounty in all its forms, worldly forms, which is pretty much very similar to the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you either want to be this empress or you're dealing with someone that is like this. Um, yeah, both of these are both holding the scepters. They're both very uh, regal. She, of course, being the empress is above the king here. So you could be feeling dealing with uh, two very strong individuals. This one of these could be you and the other person. Uh, both very steadfast in your ideas. You'll find the Empress is uh, a lot more of the female energy here is a lot more pliable, but she's very strong character. Okay. Eight of Wands, fast communication. Fast communication coming to you, which ha might have you being able to move out of troubled waters here. Um, it might be, you might be able to find once you actually communicate with either these two individuals or you can focus on the other one, that they give you some advice really quickly and you're able to move away. you would be able to get these blindfold off and move into the future. Yeah, well, you're still confused. All right, so confusion, confusion, pretty much. The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups are both confusion cards to me. So yeah, you might, you're juggling a lot. That's all I can say. You guys are juggling a lot. You've got a lot on your plate at the moment. A uh, lot's at stake. Um, your, your personal um, finances and your, your wealth could be at stake here. And that's getting you, you know, you're really worried about which way to go. But look, okay, I'll see what else this last card has to say. Five of Pentacles. Okay, you might be feeling a little bit financially tight at the moment. Yeah. So you, you really want to get out of this situation. You want to be able to put all those, those swords in line, those pentacles in line, line, go from the five straight to the ten. 
Okay. King of Wands. Yeah, you, um, a King of Wands character, which is a fire sign, male, could be a female that's displaying male traits, as in, you know, um, dominance, that sort of thing. Uh, could have you feeling left out in the cold here, which has probably had left you, made you feel very confused. So if this is the case, if you have been put out in the cold by a, uh, a King of Wands character here, your focus, your whole focus is in getting yourself back into a, a place of um, support, finance and beauty. Okay. And you will have that. Yes, wonderful. I've waiting for that. All right, you will have success. Success will be yours at the end of all these troubles. Uh, keep on going, Pisces. I can feel the energy of what you guys are going through. It feels really heavy and a little bit manic, actually. <laughs> but you're going to have victory over this, okay? Victory is going to be yours in the end. You're going to be able to block out those distractions. You're going to be able to focus on those priorities. You're going to listen to your intuition. You're going to be able to move away from troubled waters, okay? You're going to get that Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is yours. It's there for the taking, okay? You just got to get all those, as they say, ducks in a row, and I'll think you'll be fine. All right, good luck, Pisces. All right, if you'd like to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post. And bye for now.